Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Cooking Simulator. Let's continue where we left off, in the classic kitchen. Hi, are you as excited as I am? Oh, I'm very excited. This is what we call the preparation phase. The name should tell the story. Oh yeah, only an idiot wouldn't, uh, wouldn't do this properly. You know what else? It's also a great opportunity to review the laptop. Uh, I don't know, it looks like you're pretty standard kind of notebooky laptop. Certainly wouldn't be able to play games on this. Oh, he's very happy, look at him. Hi, I thought you might still need me today, so I'm here. But only for today, don't get too attached. Oh, oh, hey, come, hey, come back here, you little. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should, I should probably do this. I thought cold water boiled faster than hot water, chef. Go and buy two potatoes while holding the pot. Why, why do I have to do it while holding it? Is it just, it just stuffs it right in there? Well, would you look at that? That is useful. That would have been good to know before. Uh, oh my god, I just poured some out. Hold on, we need a bit more water. What? What? Why? What? 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 Why did it? Why did it fill up so much? I'm starting again. I'm. I'm just gonna start from scratch. This is a disaster. There's only one potato in there somehow. Yeah, so much for grabbing it with the pot, right? It didn't help me at all. It just went crazy. All right, it's going. Yay! Look at that. Ah, heat. Okay, so now we need to get a salmon fillet because we are doing this recipe. Okay, first of all, we got the five pepper. Let's see if we can make up for uh, what happened in the other kitchen where the salmon burnt. What the hell? I don't want a lake of it. He was like, enough. <laughs> yeah, do you think that's enough maybe? Well, you shouldn't be putting it down a sink, but I'm sure these sinks will be fine. <laughs> tiny, tiny. There you go. Well, that's fine. Everything's just so finicky. I think these are overboiled. Yeah. No worries. Is that actually flipped? Because last time I did this, in the modern kitchen, it got all pissy at me. Okay, yeah, no, I think it's fine. I think I just did one side for way too long. I gotta say, this seems like a pretty crappy meal. <laughs> just salmon and then just two boiled potatoes sat there. Why is it flipping it? Oh, you're a little irritating. Please just stay the right way round. Oh, fuck off. I broke something. <laughs> How do they throw the spatula onto the oil bottle? <laughs> okay. Anyway, look. Oh. Also, the plate broke. Th th those are very weak. <sighs> New plate, then. Yes, that's how it should be presented. Hmm? Put the plate... Oh, he's so happy again now. His mouth is almost like that sort of weird, curly anime mouth. Service. There you go. Okay, the realization time was actually worse than when I did it in the modern kitchen, but the taste was a bit better. A little bit. What was wrong with it then? There was too much salt? Anyway, it, it went up, so it's okay. No time for slacking off. Oh, the next order's here. We're serving some tomato soup. Tomato soup. I've done all this before. <laughs> Uh, where did the cap go, by the way? Uh, a little too much, but I really don't want to try and take stuff out unless we can ladle a bit out. Do we have like a ladle, maybe? Yes, we do, actually. Let's get a small ladle. We can just get some of this out here. There we go, look. Yay, there we go. That's almost perfect. And then the rest of this, we can just, I don't know, drink it. Oh, I just chucked the whole thing in the bin. Oh, there goes my ladle. What's this? What's this? Take the pot to the pantry and buy eight tomatoes into it. I'm very concerned about doing this, I'm going to be honest. After what happened last time. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the final touch, we need an onion. Uh-huh, I'm just being very careful here. Alright, slowly does it now. <laughs> Don't spill all this. On you go. Oh god, I've got a bit of cleaning up to do here, haven't I? Look at this, we've got broken plate there, we've got... Uh, shards of glass. Whoa-wee! Oh! Escape? Eh. Oh, I want to escape. It's so cramped in here. It was so much more spacious than the other kitchen. Uh, blend everything together. This is the fun part, yes. Mmm, you know, this is looking a lot better than last time. That's a much deeper red. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's done. Just put that down. Yeah, that's fine. The gloopy sour cream. Listen to this. Ugh. Very creamy, this soup. Take the pot and aim at the bowl. <laughs> aim at the bowl. That makes it sound so dangerous. And maybe it is. Oh, God. 
I know obviously this is more than we need. Pour mixture 299 milliliters. There's 200, I can't pour any more than 230. I don't know. Anyway, look, this looks like enough to me, right? This seems like enough. Here's your soup. All that for some tomato soup. Oh my god. Really good time though. Perfect flavors. The wrong amount. Yeah, but any more and it was spilling over. I don't get it. And uh, the temperature was fine. Nice. Are we done for today? No, we're not done. The baked trout. But we learned that. Great, I think you can do this one on your own. Yes, well, we learned it yesterday. So we need to do the lemon. And we can do the lemon correctly this time, perhaps. Hmm? Cut it. Like, oh, can you stop beeping out there, honestly? I'm trying to cook in here. Please. Very distracting. Where's my knife, anyway? I mean, I've got shards of glass, but I don't think that'll cut it. <laughs> Literally. What we're going to do is cut in the middle, like so. And then we're going to try and cut this into actual quarters, like that. Uh, this one, we've got to manipulate a little bit, because it's not quite right. Here we go. There we go, that's pretty good. Parsley, parsnip. Pars parlay. So before it gets cold, let's serve this thing and see how we did on our own. Look at that. Surely that's that's got to be good. Yay. <laughs> Slightly something is missed out though. Half a star. Hmm. I got an achievement for finishing the tutorial. Uh, the only complaint is heating mistakes with the trout. I don't really know what that is though. Like, is it overcooked? I think it's maybe just slightly overcooked. You've got hold of the basics pretty quickly. So what's the master plan, you might ask? Ah, I wonder. Well, I want this place to go from no stars to five stars. How do we do that? Actually, all the heavy lifting's on you. Great. Well, thanks. Each dish you serve affects our fame score. Do well and the score goes up. But that's not all. To gain a fame star, we need to attract a food critic. Oh, Jojo. Dish taste tolerance is increased. Okay, so they're not as picky, basically. I'm affecting their very minds. Buying and upgrading recipes costs less so we can get some more stuff. Oh, I just leveled that up twice by accident. <laughs> it's only 40% for a recipe now. Yay. Well, okay. I think we should expand our menu. Oh, you think? Look at the dishes below and pick your favorite. Okay, pork chops with baked potatoes. <gasps> Oh, the borscht, the Ukrainian borscht. Pretty similar to the uh, the tomato, but with beetroot instead. So this is going to be a very deep red. So the borscht is going to get ordered, obviously. It's our new thing. So there's a lot of chicken broth. 600 grams of beetroot we got here. So what I'll do is... See, we know we need a certain amount, right? So we'll just get it all in a pot. One, two, three... Four. How much do I need of this? 600. Uh, maths, maths, maths. Uh, we need 120 grams onion. We need 70 grams carrots. That's just one as well. Oh, there you go. Get in there. 80 grams parsley roots. I thought it was a parsnip. Is that what? So that's what a parsnip is. Anyway, I've got everything. It's all in here. So that's all ready to go, right? Get it out onto the table for now. Get all the ingredients. Hey, there we go. We're open for business. First order should arrive any moment now. <gasps> Come on. Where is it? Where is it? I knew it. Yes, video game be video gaming. Okay, let's do this thing. Chicken broth. Yes. Yes. I am become cook. Oh, come on. One off. No. Come on, just, just a tiny drip. Just a touch. Yes, there it is. That's perfect. Okay. This one has got lots of uh, lots of seasoning. Oh, slightly too much. What, what can you do? I can't take the salt out again. Oh, we, we better start this, right? We've got to turn this on. Blend it up. Why can't I? Oh, it's it's gone. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this music's a little bit depressing. My god. Come on. It's just cooking. Come on now. Uh, play something with a bit of bounce to it. 300. That's slightly more than 300, but uh, I'm not going to try and change it because it's going to be awkward. It doesn't really look like that, does it? It looks a lot thinner in game than it does here. But we did get 30 fame. What's the problem though? Too much parsley root. How? How is it too much? Too much carrot? Too much onion? What? And it was too cold. Really? I left it for too long? Impressive. You've met the fame score quota. Yeah, well, um, hang on. 80, look, 70 grams carrot, 80 grams parsley root. Look, one of these is 80 grams, one of these is 70. 
One of these is 120, so how was it too much? There was only one of each. Was it not blended in properly? But it said too much. Ah, it doesn't make any sense. A little olive oil. Dash of olive oil. A little olive oil. That's all we got. We just got this one on the go. Nothing else is happening right now. Thank goodness. Reset order time. Add 60... Oh, cheats. Cheats, you mean. Okay. Well, I, I can't use those, but there are cheats. Or well, maybe they're not cheats. Maybe they're just perks. If you get powerful enough. You become a god of cooking and you can <laughs> you can affect time itself. Let's just skip ahead and start mopping this up because this is disgusting. I can't work in this environment. Whoever made this mess should be punished in my basement. Oh, this isn't on. Oh, and I thought I was being competent. Oh, what a shame. Just taking them straight out with my hands is great. It's just like, yeah, my perk is that my skin no longer has nerve endings in it. So I'm just going Psh! right into the hot water. Uh, don't mind me. Doesn't affect me. This is why I've got this job. I can stick my face on this. Ready? Ah, okay. Well, I tried. Guess what? Just went into overtime, but it's fine. It was a perfect meal. Yes. That's eight whole fame. That was still bullshit though, that borscht. That was a bullshit borscht. I did not put excess things on it. I don't know why I was saying that. Oh, we have a sponge. We actually have a sponge this time. Yay! This is the fun part. Cleaning, right? Not, uh, not the actual cooking. No, no, just, just cleaning. That's what's fun. I do like that we just go all around like this though. That's a good sponge. You take that dirt. Wow, this chef has got issues. Yay, you did it! <laughs> Yay! A food critic wants to try out your cooking tomorrow. Uh-oh. Impress him and we're guaranteed a fame star. Once a critic is here, focus on his order. Put him above the others, right? Yep, don't worry. <laughs> I know that all too well. I'm feeling uh, like withdrawal symptoms from not causing chaos. You know, I'm, I'm addicted to the chaos and I'm, uh, you know, getting the shakes a little bit. But maybe after the critic's been and gone, I can go to free play and just mess around a bit. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, could I have like a, an assistant? Could I have someone? Why is that? Did I just crack that? Okay, we might need someone to repair the window as well, but if I could have like an assistant to do my bidding in here, this would be way easier. You know, a sous chef or even just a cleanup person. That'd be really helpful. Get Linguini over here. Where's the cooking Avengers anyway? What happened to them? I hear they're letting anybody into that these days though. There's a guy in that team now that just makes sausages out of different things. It's crazy. Take a picture of your dish. Oh, yeah. Better take a picture of this beautiful thing. Camera tilt. Oh, yeah. Nice tilted. Looks like I'm uh, filming the old Batman series. Anyway, the, I think the food critic's here and he's ordered the baked trout. That's good because that's one of the easiest things to do. Put it back on there, you little... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, for goodness sake. This is not what I need right now. Why can't I pick this up? Okay, never mind. It's not letting me pick the bacon trap, so it's just gonna have to go there. I thought maybe it would have to... Oh. Uh... That's not gonna be good. Let me pick the bloody bacon... What? You know, not the time to jam, really, is it? Right, that one's screwed. Oh, that's just right at the bottom now. Oh, who cares? Whatever. I just realized I meant to put the fish on it first. Ha! Huh. Oh, that's on it. Okay. Oh, is this broken? What's going on with this? Do I need to repair this? Repair that. There we go. Hurry up. Well, I, I can't do anything more. You know, do you want me to blow torch it and ruin the cooking of the fish? That, I believe, is already. I think that's... No, it's not because the horseradish. <gasps> Almost forgot about that. Almost forgot about the horseradish. I think it's on time. Maybe even a tiny bit early. Yes! Well done. 10 C tip. And we got the fame of the cooking points. And there were no complaints. So despite the little drama, everything actually worked out for the best. Thank you very much. You better pay me for that. The food critic approved our dish. What do you mean our dish? I made it. Great job. I'm really proud. Oh, thanks. This must be quite a magical sponge. Oh, oh how did that not break? How did it not break one? And oh god, I'm going to burn the place down. And two, how did it end up on that? Aha, parsley root. Oh, I mean, something tells me it's not going to work, but. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I really just want to throw a parsnip out the window and see who gets hit. I am skill level three, four even. So I can even get a new perk now. Uh, magic wand that removes all stains and shards. 
God, that takes all the fun out of it, though, doesn't it? I I'll get the one it tells me to get, though, the steady hands. Why not? Uh, liquids cost less. I'm getting a lot of liquids, so that'd be useful. More tips, please. Yay. Now we can choose another recipe. Fast pumpkin soup. I am not doing another soup right now. No way. Sweet and smoky salmon or grilled vegetables. Grilled vegetables is the most interesting because it's new stuff. Transfer into a deep plate. Olive oil, black pepper, salt, mushroom, drizzle in mixture. Take zucchini, drizzle in mixture. So this is the mixture you make. Then you drizzle, it says, these vegetables in that. Uh, then you cut them. You grill it. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I won't do that one. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a sweet and smoky salmon. Yeah, I'm going to do the salmon. Be gone, sir. What? I actually did it. You can throw them out. I mean, I broke the window, but you actually can throw things out. I did not expect that. Well, hold on a second. Who wants my award? <laughs> uh, full force. Oh, my God. Maybe I can escape. Yes, see ya. I don't need an award, all right? I know how good I am. I don't need you to tell me, to patronize me, give me a little golden thing. Someone else can have that award. It's nothing to me. But here's what we can do, right? So we've had a lot of uh, time being proper and trying to do things well, trying to be a good boy, but now I want to be a bad boy. Uh, that sounds weird, but I, I want to go into sandbox mode, right? We can go into the modern kitchen for this to give us a little bit of uh, variety. All these other kitchens are from the DLCs. Maybe we'll look at those one day. In the end, having fun is all that matters. Instantly gain access to all the features with no restrictions. Redecorate or destroy anything within sights, etc. I don't think there's even going to be any orders, right? I mean, I kind of want to serve people my terrible things. I don't even think I can do that, unfortunately. Oh, it's nice though, look. We got everything unlocked. We've got plates already here. We've got knife. Oh, that knife is, um, let's sort you out there, buddy. And we got a little bit more space in this kitchen. Oh, and look at this. Fully stocked larder. Look at all the vegetables. All of the oils and different liquids. There's quite a few. Loads of herbs and spices. Absolutely tons of them. Barrel of dark beer. Barrel of light beer. And in the fridge. Ah, yes. Sausages, beef chucks, T-bone steak, pork shoulder, cheese. Oh. Sorry, plate. <laughs> Let me just try. Let's just try making uh, something random. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a piggy by its toe. If it screws, let it go. E meeny, miny, mo. Scallop. We're doing scallop. Okay. If we're going to fry a scallop, peanut oil obviously is the only thing you can fry scallops in. Yep. We need a lot of oil, of course. Uh, we're deep frying this scallop just the way... Uh, the way the Lord intended. Oh yes, that's going, okay. Now what do you usually serve with scallops? Um, cheese, cheddar, yes, of course. We're gonna cut up some cheddar, some kind of vegetable, ha, uh, eggplant, <laughs> or aubergine, as uh, we'd say here. Broccoli, broccoli's a fun vegetable. A quintessential meal of any classical kitchen, I think you'll find. See, see, this is real cooking, right? This is like, Creativity, not just following a recipe. You've got to charge forward. You've got to make your own path and your own decisions. And blah, 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 blah. So the scallop is still nicely going. There we go. The red is a good thing. Don't worry about that. That just means it's uh, it's done properly. You know, it's, it's red for passion, right? Red is the color of passion. Now we've got to put the broccoli in the water like this. Make sure you turn that on. All right, that's enough. That's done enough, I think. And you need a little extra, so grab a broken piece of plate. Suitable size, this one seems good. A little crunch to the dish, you know, otherwise it's a bit too kind of squidgy. And why not add a little bit of uh, thyme as well? We can take the scallop out now. Oh, I, I can't because I'm not on that mode. So what you should really do, you, you want a bit of that oil. Obviously you need some wetness to the dish, so. You need to make sure you get some of the oil in the plate there. So here we go, we've got our nice scallop looking nice and well done there. Now how's this getting along? Oh, the broccoli's almost done. So just when that ticks over, we'll be ready to go. We have our lovely ingredients. Now you don't need to serve the timer, that was just to add the element of time. But you do want to put the plate on the plate. 
Okay, well that can happen sometimes, uh, so just don't worry about it too much. We've got a backup plate here. Okay, well, you know what? Just, just scrap the plate. Scrap the plate. In fact, they can eat the plate. They've got a plate served, so if they want to have a munch of the plate for a bit of texture, that's up to them, right? But they can make that choice. Sometimes it's good to let, let the customer make the choice of what they want. Let them have a decision, right? It makes them feel more involved in the process, which is... A, a, a lot of people appreciate that. Whoa, come on, you little broccoli bastard. Yeah, I actually like to serve this dish in a bowl myself. This is good. You can tell when a scallop's done well when it looks like a hockey puck. That's just... it's just right. You don't want to go any more or less than that. The cheese, you can cut however you like. Personally, I like to do really nice, long, but thin slices like so. So you just rotate accordingly. And really just have fun with it, you know? Uh, cooking is, is meant to be something enjoyable, not just in the eating, but in the process. You should be enjoying the process as well. Fucking cut, you little cheesy mother... We have a finished dish. So let's see if anybody would want this. Uh, no. Oh, apparently nobody does. Don't try this at home to probably many of the things that I did in this video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.